the second day at the RSX European Championships in Madeira, Portugal, had a slow start, but a great finale. Although the windsurfers arrived early and ready to race, the wind kept them waiting for a long time. Everyone decided to enjoy the yellow jersey ceremony, where the top windsurfers from yesterday were awarded their honorary jerseys. By 2 o'clock, the wind paid a nice visit to Madeira, and the race committee gave its signal for the athletes to go into the water. The wind would be between 10 and 15 knots, gusty and shifty. Would Mira Zinski from Poland and Alibu from Spain keep their lead, or would the shifts confuse them and let other, more risky windsurfers steal some points away from them? In the first race of the day, Cohen from Israel had a surprisingly good start, while Manshan from Spain had some problems with the Peja from Finland and got stuck behind. The male windsurfers also had a mixed start, with Oberemko from Ukraine heading to the right side from the committee boat and Mir from Mexico teaming up with Pastor from Spain on the far left. The first upwind was only for the well-prepared, with a lot of shifts and no easy way to predict the favorable side. Mirazinski rounded at the top, with Ivan Pastor and Poyer Mishka coming fast behind him. Karelu from Cyprus was also close on top, using a combination of good tactics and technique. The battle continues throughout the fleet. Tony Wilhelm from Germany wanted to stay at the top and had to fight to win some precious points. J.O. Rodriguez, the local top Portuguese athlete with five participations in Olympic Games, seems to have started on the wrong foot at this championship, even if he knows the local wind patterns. Nevertheless, he is a true hero for the people of Madeira. Uh, as a sportsman, it's fantastic. Uh, it will be, I hope, the sixth presence in the Olympic Games. He represents Madeira and Funchal in all countries that he went to participate. The RSX windsurfers are well known for their need for speed. The wind building up between the races allowed some of them to enjoy some fast surfing on the waves for fun. In the second race of the day, Chan from Hong Kong and David Orich from Israel had a great start from the pin end side, fighting off many of the female athletes that started on the committee boat side. Among them was Skarlatu from Greece, Adlan Molestad from Norway, and Zambruska from Poland. In the men's fleet, Nimrod returned to his best performance, positioned himself at the top from the start of the race, and managed to finish first. Julian Bontemps, the French top windsurfer, also had his best performance so far at this race, finishing second. After a tiring day, the leaderboard in the men has Mirazinski, Nimrod and Kokolanis in the same top three positions as yesterday. However, there is still a lot of racing ahead and many things can change.